Hi, I'm Travis Ellett with National Control Devices. We've been doing a few videos here recently to help you through some technical questions. And uh, we're also going to do some videos on selecting relay controllers. As you can see by our website, it can be a rather daunting task to select the right relay controller for your application. So today I just want to briefly talk to you about relays and maybe which one might be right for you. We have several different types of relays and they come in all different configurations as you can see here. This is just a few. We offer literally hundreds of different configurations. So it can be a little overwhelming getting the right one. We have a few different uh, communication protocols. We have wireless, and both wireless and wired. So you'll have to determine which one of those is right for you. We'll cover that in another video shortly. But today I just want to talk to you about the relays and I want to talk to you about why it would be good to use one of our relay controllers instead of using uh, just a switch to turn lights and off on and off you can use a relay to turn things like that on and off you can switch virtually anything from motors, valves, lights, transformers, computers just about anything that can be turned on and off with electricity you can use our relays to control them reasons that you might do this is if you want to turn things on and off via a computer uh, that's what our relay controllers are all about this is what we do and this is what we specialize in and it's kind of our bread and butter no one does it better than we do not to toot our own horn but our relay controllers simply are the best in the industry when it comes to computer control so that's what we do here and if you're looking for something like that you've come to the right place because we've got something to fit your application. Now let's talk a little bit about the actual relays themselves. As you can see here I have a few of the relays that we offer and I just kinda wanna briefly go over them with you. First of all we have different types of relays and it's really important to understand how a relay works. A relay is basically an electronic component that has an input and outputs. So if you want to switch a line on and off, you're going to feed the line you want to switch into the relay and then you're going to feed a line out to the device that you're switching on and off. And there's different ways of doing that. We have a few different types of relays. They're referred to as SPST, SPDT and DPDT. Now what that means is the first two letters in that category means how many inputs the relay has. For instance an SPDT relays is a single pole double throw which means single pole means you have one input double throw means you have two outputs now we have a few different ones here these here are double pull double throw I like to think of these as two relays in one because you can feed two lines in and you can switch them out through two different outputs for each input so it's kinda like having two relays in one and sometimes that's a good way to go our best sellers are these two right here they're single pull double throw meaning you have a single pull which we refer to as the common and a double throw the two outputs which we re refer to as the normally open and the normally closed now the way this works is this is actually a mechanical relay meaning it makes a mechanical connection whenever you turn it on it has a coil here which en when energized there's an arm in there and at one end of this arm it's fixed and it moves like a rudder on a boat and it's connected to the common and it will either make connection to the normally open or the normally closed when the relay is in its off position it's connected to the normally closed when the relay is on it connects to the normally open so you can actually run two outputs out of this to two different devices this doesn't have a neutral so it does so it means it's either 
connected to the normally open or the normally closed, one or the other. So that's kind of the way that works. And we also have some relays that are single pull, single throw, meaning it's either in neutral, meaning it's connected to nothing, or whenever you energize it, it's going to connect to the normally open. So you can't make two output connections to these relays. You can only make one, which sometimes works really well for different applications. We, have some, we also have some larger relays here. Uh, this one here is a 20 amp relay, and this one here is a 30 amp relay. All these ones up front here are all mechanical relays. They work for most applications and it's usually what I recommend, especially if you're switching DC current because really that's all we have for switching DC current. When you're switching AC current, sometimes it's not a bad idea to consider solid state relays. Now these relays make their switch electronically. So there's no mechanical moving parts, which as you'll see is kind of where the electronic industry is trying to go with solid state hard drives and things of that nature. So these are highly reliable, but only good for switching AC current. We do not offer these to switch DC current. We have a few different types here. We have a couple of them that are uh, capable of switching inductive loads and the rest of them are capable of only switching resistive loads. If you don't know what an inductive load is, we have a video on our website as well as an article describing what induction is. So be sure and review that video and see what type of load you're switching before you actually select a relay. We also have these little guys here. These are called read relays. Now these are real small and they're good for switching really low current lines such as communication lines and things of that nature. They're only rated for 0.5 amps. So half an amp at the most is what these little guys are rated for. These two are our best sellers. They're single pull double throw relays. We offer it in a 5 amp and a 10 amp and also a 20 amp. We have double pull double throw relays available as a 1 amp, 3 amp or 5 amp. And we have single pull, single throw relays available as this uh, 30 amp relay here. I believe we also have a read relay that's single pull, single throw. And then our solid state relays are available in those different types of configurations too. Whenever you go to select a solid state relay controller on our website, towards the bottom of the page, it will ask you which type of solid state relay you want. Be sure and review all of the information. These things have what we call a minimum switching current, meaning they are load dependent. You can't switch, I believe all these have a minimum load of 0 0.06 amps. So you want to make sure that you're switching more than that whenever using these. So you want to review that, you want to know whether or not you're switching resistive or inductive loads, and you'll have to know the amperage of the device that you're switching. If I have a pump, which is an inductive load and it's rated at 5 amps, I'm probably not going to use a 5 amp relay. I'm probably going to use a 10 amp relay. It usually doesn't cost a lot more to overrate the relay and it'll expand the relay's life. So, you know, if you're at 3 amps, use a 5 amp. If you're at 5 amps, use a 10 amp. For the most part, I recommend rounding up because um, that's really that's really going to expand the life of your relay. So be sure you do that whenever considering a relay. We'll go more in later on which different type of communication protocol to use. As I said, we have both wired and wireless controllers, which are good for different applications. It just depends on what you're doing. So be sure and review that video as well as our inductive video. And also read the articles on our website. Um, they're really going to get you in touch with what you're doing and the videos I hope will be a good supplement to those articles. Also be sure and re review the manual for the controller that you're looking at as you know with any device, any any product you want to read the manual you know it never hurts to know everything especially with our controllers because they are really a pretty in-depth product so you'll want to understand them pretty well so be sure and read those manuals and articles and review these videos. 
and hopefully this video will kind of help you select which relay is right for your application. So that's this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.